Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to this edition of See Yourself Grow with Tina. I am Tina Kalura, and for those of you who don't know me, I am a wife, I am a mom, and I try to be a boss at everything that I do. I am the founder and CEO of the See Yourself Grow coaching and consulting firm, and I help basically take people's big ideas and break them down into smaller, more manageable tasks so that they can see the results they know they deserve. But today, I want to talk to you guys about understanding and unraveling the myths of diabetes, because it is World Awareness Diabetes Month, and I don't know about you, but diabetes has definitely touched my family in more ways than one. My mom, she has been living with diabetes and I'm always looking for ways to help her live a better life. And so with great pleasure today, I'm bringing you Dr. Cheryl Ivaniski once again. So I did some research for this interview and some of the research that I did was I wanted to know about what are the five most surprising facts about diabetes. So number one was diabetes is the leading cause of blindness worldwide. Number two, adults with diabetes are twice as likely to die from heart disease and or stroke. And then number three is millions of Americans and or Canadians have type one diabetes. Many early symptoms of diabetes are too mild to notice. So that was the fourth bit of information I found. And then the fifth was half of all those people with diabetes are actually undiagnosed. Now, I am not 100% sure if all these facts are true. And that is why I have the great pleasure of interviewing Dr. Cheryl Ivaniski today. So Cheryl is a highly accomplished individual renowned as a global wellness authority, a doctor of holistic medicine and acupuncture, as well as an award-winning author of seven international, actually that number has changed, it's now 15 international best-selling books. One of Cheryl's most impressive achievements is the creation of her signature flagship coaching program, the Diabetes Success System. Now, this four-step proprietary system is transforming the lives of thousands of people worldwide by helping them achieve blood sugar balance naturally for life. With decades of testing, research, and personal experience, Cheryl has combined the best of traditional and natural practices to create truly holistic approaches to living vibrantly well and winning with diabetes. She is the founder of Holistic Diabetes Solutions, a coaching and educational company that inspires, empowers, and educates people, providing a safe and proven process, a disarm basically a process to disarm diabetes naturally. So Cheryl's expertise comes from over four generations of family members living with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And as someone who has diabetes herself, she can relate to her clients and understand exactly how they feel and what they go through every day. With over three decades of experience, she has written curriculums, taught college, taught in colleges and university programs, worked with clients in private practices, and co-led research studies in this area. So Cheryl is passionate about providing individuals with the tools they need to live empowered lives. Her programs are customized to suit the individual's need, individual needs of her clients. And by imparting knowledge, Cheryl's ultimate goal is empowering her clients to live the life they want and deserve. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Great. Good afternoon. How are you? (laughs) Good, good. Awesome, Cheryl. Thank you. Welcome and congratulations on 15 best-selling books. That's amazing. So the most recent one, Leaders with Impact, of course, it was on how to be a leader of your own health. So congratulations for that. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. 
Yeah. So I watched the event you hosted, I think it was last week, live on World Diabetes Day. And it was fascinating, Cheryl. I was so astonished with those four myths that they were actually myths. So since you Hard had- Hard to believe, isn't it? I know, it's crazy. Know. Again, we're like so programmed to, to think a certain way and we just take whatever is told to us at face value yeah, sometimes, we right? And we don't know what we don't know about what we don't know, right? Exactly. And that's why I love having interviews like this with people like yourself, Cheryl, to help break down those barriers, those myths, and help us unravel what's really possible for people out there. That's awesome because it's really about shining a spotlight and interrupting our thinking because or else we're on autopilot thinking what we're thinking and it might not be so true but if we're yeah. operating in our lives and with our health like that could be hurting us that can be yeah. hurting us it's not going to be supporting our health so thank you so much for um inviting me to be a guest today because i'm just so passionate about sharing this because so many people need this i'm yeah. here to serve because it helps me in my life with my diabetes it helps four generations of my family but it also helps half a million half a billion people and hundreds of millions of people who listen in yeah. Yeah. And you know what, Cheryl, I, I was diagnosed as with gestational diabetes and mm -hmm. diabetes runs in my family as well. As I told you, my mom had it and her aunties had it. So it's generational in, in my family as well. And I am almost anticipating that I might get it in my later years. So I don't have it right now, but I'm getting prepared. And I think being proactive instead of reactive is, is right. so important as well. And Tina, that's a very real concern for a lot of women who have had gestational diabetes. And it's a very big concern for people over the age of 45, 42, 43, because people are being diagnosed younger and younger. But here's what I have to say about that. It is absolutely preventable. And it's absolutely over 90 to 95% of diabetes is absolutely based on holistic best self-care practices. And we'll talk a little bit more about that absolutely preventive and you can interrupt so that Tina, if you're concerned about that now in your life, there are wonderful things you can start doing right now that will safeguard you against ever having to have that concern. Oh, I it, love that. It's because it's just, it's all unnecessary, but there are certain tools and certain really great strategies that you can put in place and you can just bypass all that. And even when you have type two diabetes, you can still reverse that and be in a really great diabetes free zone for life. And when you have type one diabetes, you can still reduce your insulin requirements and still live in that diabetes free mentality because you call to action in your life, what you're thinking. Yeah, so exactly. No, excellent. So Cheryl, I want to dive in to okay. the, the myth that one of the myths that you had mentioned was my medical doctors are the best go-to resources for my diabetes because they have extensive training on how to help me. This is a myth, Cheryl? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> yes, it is a myth. And I have, I, I'm not discounting doctors at all. I'm grateful for traditional medicine that keeps me alive. So I just want to shine the spotlight on what I mean by that exactly. Is that okay? Absolutely, yeah. So in a nutshell, and with all due respect, what you have to understand is there's intense training in medical school. There's so much for students to learn. And the one area, however, that is lacking, and I'm going to refer to many studies here as well. The one area that's lacking is in the area of, of diabetes, nutrition, and lifestyle. And I'll tell you, the traditional medical model is not based on looking at the cause of things it's based on looking at the symptoms so when we're looking at diabetes and we're looking at nutrition i'm going to share with you a couple of statistics that might be mind-blowing for you and for our audience so i'm going to let you know this many different studies over the years but here's where it's at okay so i'm going to go back to 2010 and fast forward to 2019 and 2021 so back in 2010, there was a study that, pub that was published and there was over 127 accredited medical schools across the United States. So what occurred was when they did this audit, when they did this survey, what they found was less than 25% of all of those 127 medical schools uh, had even one course dedicated to nutrition. 
and its relationship to diabetes. So we are looking at less than 25% of all doctors and residents being trained. Is that not mind blowing? Yeah, that's crazy, Cheryl. Yeah. And it's not even a requirement. So in 2021 here, I'm going to talk about this. Let's fast forward. 2020, 21, the US, uh, A and UK, there was this published and they were saying the average amount of hours that there was any training in any of the schools was between zero and 11 hours on average over that four to five years or five to six years that students and residents are in training. So the whole thing comes down to, and you've got the American Heart Association, and then you've got people like Dr. David Eisenberg, who's the director of the culinary nutrition at Harvard at the TC Chan School, talking about when we're looking at our first line of defense and we're looking at doctors providing any advice, it's actually so disproportionate to the training that they get. And every day, and I know that you know this, Tina, but every day we have new clients come to us and people come to us. One of our stellar clients right now come to us and said, our doctor said, stop eating fruit, stop eating these things. And it's like, where are they getting their nutrition from? The advice that's being given out there in our first line is dispor- disproportionate. And it, it, that comes with, then where do people go for this information? But as, and maybe you don't know, I'll throw another stat out there at you, is that over 50% of all deaths, Tina, are related to poor diet, obesity, Mm. diabetes. And what's scary about that, that is rising. People are being affected younger. People are being affected older. And here's the thing. It's all completely preventable. There's no reason for it. It's just, we haven't had our traditional medicine hasn't had a system that's worked because it's been based on pharmaceuticals. It's based on treating symptoms with medication. Now, here's the thing, our culture and in the media all day, we realize on one level that food is medicine and that lifestyle choices are a form of medicine, but people find that when they're prescribed a medication, it's pretty convenient to take a pill. So then they abdicate responsibility and say, if I want to eat this or do that, I'll just take more pills. But that's a false crutch because it's not addressing the real cause. And that's a temporary, that's a, that might work for a little while, but that won't work for long, which is why medications are increased and added to. And and Cheryl, you know that there's side effects that come with medications as well. When my mom had to start taking medication, she was devastated. Right. I think she originally got diagnosed when she was 68. And so she she again, she was trying to watch her diet and watch what she was eating and staying active. So she was like, that was her mission. I don't want to be on the insulin. I don't want the needles. I don't want any of that. So she didn't get onto that stuff until 75. So I was like, okay. I'm like, you know what? You did pretty good because. We, we grew up in a household where it's try to avoid any kind of medication possible. Yes. To your point, Tina, just for our listeners and our audience here, our bodies, so for instance, I'm so glad you brought that up. Our bodies, when our blood sugars are even slightly elevated, what's going on is our bodies become acid in the bloodstream and throughout our body, our pH levels change. And what happens is that our kidneys, our heart, our organs have to work harder. So a person without challenged blood sugars, their organs are working at a regular capacity. People with diabetes who have the sugar spilled into their bloodstreams and elevated sugars. That's like being on a treadmill that's depending on what your sugars are on five, six, seven, as high as 10, and you can't get off. So what do you think happens to the organs? Over time, if you're exhausting them at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, up to hundred percent more capacity. Yeah. You know, they blow up. Yeah. They're overworked. And the medications then on top of that have to be filtered through the liver and the kidneys. So what does that do? It adds additional stress on them. So I don't think we, we fully understand the effects of what's happening with traditional medicine. But I can tell you that the really great news is we have the Center for Disease Control and the World Health Organization supporting finally what we've been doing for the last 30 years. 
And that's all about, there's a new game in town. Yeah. And I know that we've talked about that a little bit. And that new game in town is changing the whole trajectory for people. It's adding years to life. It's adding quality. And that's the holistic approach to diabetes wellness. Yeah. So Cheryl, as a doctor, as a coach who helps people make the switch from traditional to holistic, what have you discovered are the reasons that people are taking medications that are known to cause cancer and or other serious illnesses? There's a lot of medications. I won't list them, but there's multiple medications that people have been taking that have been uh, pulled from the market for various reasons. And ones that you've mentioned because they're carcinogenic, they're cancerous agents. And yet people are taking these until they're pulled off the market and then they're brought back on the market with some adjustments. However, diabetes, you have to understand is a full body issue. It affects every tissue, every organ and every cell. And when it comes to lifestyle and the choices that we make, if we know which ones to make, that is medicine, your everyday choices and your own best self-care practices that are in your own hands. Those are gold. And it's about having a blueprint. It's about knowing what they are and really being able to decode your own diabetes. So what do I mean by that? What exactly is the type that you have? I would say that the error rate in knowing what kind of diabetes you have is north of 10 plus percent. So people are walking around not knowing definitively exactly what type of diabetes they do have. And then the fact is rather than labeling people and putting medications on and uh, being told to lose weight or watch what they eat, there's no power in that. There's no, so what do I do? What does it look like? What's the plan? How do I start? How do I tweak? Uh, How do they affect my blood sugars? How can we lower them naturally? And that's what's been missing. So when it comes to the medications, what you were asking about is those medications can complicate our systems and our bodies and uh, bring on um, other issues. I will say that there's an increased incidence of people who have diabetes and those who have cancer. One of my best friends of 27 years recently passed away of cancer, although he had diabetes for over 27 years, that he was doing great with it. It, so it was the relationship to cancer. So I want to just point out there's a there's an increased relationship between those with diabetes and those with cancer. Interesting. Cheryl, you touched a little bit upon the complications. I think it was the kidney. Can, can, can we discuss that a little bit further, if you don't sure. mind? Sure. We were talking just earlier a little bit about how the body, how the organs need to work over time when blood sugars are higher. I also want to point out here that often when blood sugars are higher, it's not always just blood sugars because it's whole body. It can be blood pressure. It can be as well as cholesterol. There can be other elements that affect health. But when it comes to the kidneys, the reason that's such an area of conversation and eyes as well is because in the body, some of the smallest capillaries are affected initially by high blood sugars. And that's because those capillaries burst when the blood sugars are higher than normal. And once they burst, that's damage. That's how gradual loss of vision, blurriness, initial signs of neuropathy or discomfort set in. And that's telling us that our kidneys, which have also small filters with the small capillaries, still burst. What happens is when those capillaries burst, it's not you're building new capillaries per se, it's more that there's scar tissue that's there and damage uh, is accumulative over time. So what we wanna be able to do is not put our bodies in that position to have to fight so hard so that we have to combat that acidity and that uh, capillary burst, like little grenades going off behind our eyes and little grenades going off in our kidneys. We can put that to rest. There are really great natural strategies and solutions that we can put in place and we can calm that right down. We can bypass all that. It's so unnecessary. And that's why over 80%, and I don't know if you know this, Tina, over 80% of people are now using a natural form of of wellness and healthcare and practices as their primary go-to source for diabetes management. 
Isn't that amazing? That's, well, that is absolutely amazing. I love hearing that sort of stuff, Cheryl, because this is what you are living and breathing and trying to help people understand. <laughs> so I yeah. think it's amazing. So I wanted you, I know that you provide a complimentary diabetes wellness connection call for people who are at their wits end uh, with their blood sugars or for people who are caring for loved ones similar to me uh, with diabetes and worried about them. So what happens on these calls that transforms them from relying on medication and, you know, basically providing them with a handful of appointments each year to making or sorry, to taking care of themselves uh, daily or their loved ones daily. You you make a really good point that sometimes people will visit their primary physician or primary health care provider once a year. Sometimes it's twice a year, three times a year. They might see their specialist once or twice a year. Here's the thing. What's happening after those appointments? What is your success plan? What is your reversal plan? And the second thing is, how are you measuring? How do you know where you are right now? And how are you measuring what success that you're having? In diabetes connection calls, it's really about getting to know where the person is at. Sometimes there's a very specific issue someone might have. Someone called the other day and some glass shattered. And they called me and said, I've got pieces of glass in my arm. The screen door shut because the the stopper wasn't working. And so glass shattered and they got uh, glass inside their arm. And they said, what do we do to get that out? My gosh, what do we do? So I gave them the solution. They actually called back and were so grateful um, because it worked, uh, which was great. So sometimes it could be like that, but connection calls typically are, where are you now? Is this new for you? Are you one year, five year, 10 year, 20, 30? I have some clients in their nineties who've had it for over 50 years. So where are you now? Where are you struggling? And let's take a look at decoding what issue you're having and what I can see what's contributing to that issue let's break it down and let's start you know finding a swap in a healthy natural solution swap in that's going to give you power and what do i mean by that i what i mean by that is healing power resistance power to efficiency so changing insulin resistance to insulin efficiencies and being able to like i said interrupt where people are at because that's the frustration can't get off that vicious cycle so connection calls are more of a little bit more of a discovery call. Where are you at? What would you, where would you like to be? And maybe what's one thing that you can start doing today to yeah. get you on your way. And then if you'd like a, a full plan, what, what does that look like? Because diabetes, as you, you may know, um, hijacks the average person of 11 years of their life. So somewhere between five and 15 years of their life, because all those organs are working overtime. Yeah. So someone can biologically be 55 years old, but their kidneys might be 78 years old. Their yeah. heart might be 80 years old. It just depends. So I, I don't want that to happen for anybody. And I know yeah. because it's happened to my own family, I've lost family members due to the complications of diabetes. And I was set on that trajectory and would be in that exact position 30 years later had I listened to all of that. Yeah. But t- taking a stand that life can be different and actually living that diabetes-free lifestyle that I've been talking about and having a success system, the connection call allows people a baby step in that process. And you know what, Cheryl, in listening to you speak, all I kept thinking about was people go into their doctor's appointments, they've done their blood work, and now the doctor is breaking this news to them that they're diabetic, right? Yeah. And then they start fire hosing them with information. Go look at this, go do that, read this, read that. And they're probably walking out of the, the, the doctor's office dumbfounded and yeah. does, they don't know what hit them, right? But it's and overwhelming, right? It's overwhelming. And I'm just thinking, hearing you speak, you, you have such a gentle way about you, Cheryl, that, and you and I both know, when we work with professionals, we elevate our lives, we elevate our businesses that much faster and greater. And, and so in hearing you speak, your wellness calls, I think that's a great place to start for anybody who is battling the the diabetes, their their blood sugars, or trying to help a family member do the same. It totally makes sense to get the foundational training since it's rare um, that they're taught any of this in a typical medical appointment. So kudos to you. That's amazing. Thank you, Tina. I think that 
I know that when I was diagnosed and, uh, and so many clients have been diagnosed that it is, it's, it's a shocker number one. And it's scary because you read all of these complications and you don't want that to be your future. However, where is the blueprint? Where is the pathway? Where is the best self-care practices that you can start doing right now? And so I think that's really important. We actually, Tina, we have a foundational, it's called our essentials. It's called diabetes decoded. And you know what this does? So wonderful. Everybody should be like a requirement across the board, across, across the country and across the world. But it actually educates people on exactly what diabetes is. And what I mean by that, it's not medical jargon. It actually takes you inside your own body and it actually allows you to see what's going on in real time. And here's the thing in decoding your own diabetes, there's so many wonderful additional tests that can be done at your general practitioner and at your specialist that over 99% of people never get. And that's because our, our traditional system isn't fully aware of them. And again, not trained as we talked about earlier, and there's no CEU, which are continuing educational requirements to learn these things. So it's really up to us to abdicate our own responsibility. So we arm people with exactly a full checklist, a full uh, success system to go to their doctors and to get exactly what they need. And we can work out a plan with them because if you don't know where you are, it's like a trip. If you're planning a trip and you don't actually know what flight you're going on and where you're going to arrive and how you're getting to where you're gonna go, you're lost. And your health is no different. If you don't know where your starting point is, if you don't know where your destination is, and if you don't know the best way to get there and how to fast track it and to avoid all the detours, it's a lot of complication for no reason. So we put yeah. the ease into diabetes. Ah, I love it. So for those listening now and or on the replay, and they want to get started learning how to start this amazing transformation for their health and their wellness, how would they go about that, Cheryl? I invite people to holisticdiabetesolutions.com is our website and we have lots of resources. We have blogs, we have information, we have lots of great things. We have a free Facebook group that you can join. So I invite you to come in. We have trivia Tuesdays, we have wellness Wednesdays, we have uh, fabulous Fridays and self-care Sundays. And in addition, right now we have our getting to understand your diabetes for you which is diabetes decoded, which is a great introductory and in setting the, the foundation. It's before a plane takes off on the runway mm. into the sky, you have to have a runway. We have that on our site as well. And uh, we have some great stuff coming up because of course it's a diabetes awareness month and all that great stuff with Thanksgiving and black Friday. So you want to come to our site and uh, you want to see what we have there for you. General information, the connection call, upcoming webinars, and of course, some of our really great blueprint pathways for people too. Oh, that's amazing. And Cheryl, I've been in your world for, for just over a year now. And I can honestly say like you have injected so much information into my world to help my mom just live a better life. So I just want to say thank you. And I want others to take advantage of all that you have to offer. So as always, you are a true wealth of information. And I'm grateful to know you and for taking the time out of your busy day to help enlighten our listeners on Facebook, on YouTube, on, on LinkedIn. We are live everywhere. So I just want to say thank you once That's again. That's great. You know what, Tina, thank you for helping us shine a spotlight and reach people because when you look at the number of people with diabetes, the world's largest pandemic, one in nine, one in 10, and Dr. Steve Gundry, who I've actually interviewed, wonderful man. If you don't know who he is, look him up, wonderful. World's most four leading heart surgeon and creator of so many wonderful medical developments and innovations for people with heart disease. And of course, the majority of people with heart disease are people with diabetes. So it's really, he's talking about how that could look like one in four and one in five by, by, by 2040. Wow. So we really want to get in front of this for people. We want to help people who have it. And we want to give people what they need so that they never have to deal with this. Absolutely. And that's why we have people like you in this world, Cheryl. That's why I love doing these kind of interviews, because like I said, let's be proactive about this, people. What yeah. is it, one in five you just said? We can avoid all of this. We can get a handle on this, right? We can. Um, yeah, yeah. We can. 
So for everybody, if you want that transformation or you want that for a family member, it's available for you by Dr. Cheryl on Dr. Cheryl's website, holisticdiabetesolutions.com. I've put that site in the comments on Facebook and on LinkedIn. So I'll add it into the YouTube comments uh, as well. She's got a free Facebook group. She's offering webinars, masterclasses, programs. There's so many events that are going to be happening. But yeah, so please reach out to Cheryl, take advantage of the complimentary wellness um, conversation that you can have with Cheryl. And again, follow Cheryl where, wherever she is. <laughs> yeah, lots of really great information. Follow Cheryl because it's likely if uh, you have diabetes or if you're caring for a loved one with diabetes, with the familial tendencies, it's likely that other people may have it. And because half of the people don't know they have it, it's really great to share the information because goodness, let's just say they have it and don't know it, or they get it and didn't know they've had it for eight years. The information is life-giving. Absolutely. All right. There you have it, everyone. Cheryl, I just want to say thank you. Thank you again. I'm going to wrap things up. So feel free to stay backstage or if you have to go, I totally get it. And thank we will you. connect soon. Thank you everyone for listening live. And for those of you listening on the replay, just type hashtag replay, connect with Cheryl. <laughs> All right, Cheryl, take care. Enjoy the day.